Okay, amid talks of a possible merger between both the warring camps, that's the EPS faction and the OPS faction, the former Chief Minister of the State of Tamil Nadu, Opanir Selbam, is in the national capital and held an important meeting with the Prime Minister. In fact, he spoke to the press a short while back. Let's listen in. India Ternatodia Kudiers Tony Telegraha Nanganada Kuria Padavir Kulagara Nangal Pandrando other than the Naratil Man Mughe India Pradamara Rayum Sandit Indiki Tamilakatali Rikanda Arasil Sunalikal Petrium Balve Karate Kale Man Mughe Bar the Parama Havidum, Parimarikunda or Nala, Surali Patadi, then they can never to put the Tamla Arasuria, Delhi party lay, Man Muhu, Par the Parama Ruthi, Rivaha, Leki Kurin. Mr. Wopan is the one, he and his team came last week to participate in the swearing in ceremony of the Vice President of India, Sri Venka and Adam. At that time, uh, casually, he met the Prime Minister and he had requested for an audience. So today, he has gone and met the Honourable Prime Minister and he has uh, exchanged views about the prevailing political situation in general, the situation in Tamil Nadu and the present Tamil Nadu government and the various aspects he has briefed the Prime Minister. Sir, the current political situation Anita Amisangal in Guritha, Manuka part of the Parimaran, Urivaha, part of the Paramaravan, Nanum, Urivaha Pesil. The Nazi Ladrithirga, Ladrithirga, Sir, if you have a question, you can ask me to I need to answer some of the issues. I need to I need to to நான் <laughs> <laughs> of the prevailing atmosphere in Tamil Nadu in the present regime, the general political situation, the feeling of the cadre of the AADMK, the opinion of the public, all these things have been expressed to the Prime Minister. And it will be very demeaning for you people to say that the Prime Minister is involved in solving the internal affairs of a political party, another political party. So I think we should stop at that. Tamilaka Makalak, Nanmai Payak and Devadama Yukmo, and the Mudivi and Angal Urdia Pum. And while the former Chief Minister had this meeting with the Prime Minister, the Deputy General Secretary of the party and VK Sasikala's nephew, TTV Dinakran in Madurai, has made a big statement. He said that I will expose EPS today evening. So uh, TTV Dinakran there also finding himself in the midst of several controversies, flexing his muscles and putting pressure on uh, the EPS government, threatening to expose the Chief Minister of the state, Idapadike Palani Sami, who was the uh, you know aunt and nephew's pick in the first place? EPS is Sasikala's loyalist. He's had a very close working relationship with BK Sasikala, who right now is in prison in Bengaluru. Joining us now is Deputy Editor India Today, Priyambada, for more details and updates. So a big statement by TDP Dhanakaran, who threatens to expose the Chief Minister, Priyambada.
What's this all about? Absolutely. Uh, when because this is going to be the most crucial day in Tamil Nadu politics because it's all about number games now. So CCTV Dinakaran has just spoken to the media persons in Madurai ahead of the 5 p.m. rally where he has said, "I will talk everything about EPS. I will expose them today." Already we are seeing relatives of uh, uh, Shashi Kanna like Divakaran and others who have been who have been talking about corruption in the EPS government. And now TTP Dinakaran says he will expose about it. So this is a very very crucial bit of information coming in. But Avantika, let me also give you the breakup and why today's NATO meeting is important. There are two totally 133 AA ABNK MLAs because of which the government is standing today. Yes. Uh, of which of which 123. or uh, uh, is the minimum requirement for the government to stand today but 10 of them are with OPS camp and if CTV Dinakaran manages to get at least 17 MLAs that means the EPS government for But he claims I he claims uh, to have the support of 16 MLAs is that right Absolutely he has he claims to have the support of 16 MLAs but mm-hmm. today evening is more than 16 MLAs are going to participate That will be enough for them to topple topple the EPS government, even if EPS and OPS merge. So, which means the Tamil Nadu government's fate is right now hanging in balance. So, which means that Priyamata, this Melod rally is uh, very significant in terms of. him uh, you know uh, showing off his strength those numbers it's really those numbers that it will come down to but about uh, his his threat to expose idupadi ke palani sami how have you know tables turned eps was their pick he was his aunt's loyalist and now he's threatening to expose him absolutely avin so that's what happens in politics isn't it it's all about betrayal and less about loyalty Unless you have a strong leader, probably like uh, Jayalalitha or Karuna Nidhi. After Jayalalitha passed away, he was able to keep all the MLAs and MPs together. Not one person dared to rebel. But right now, it's all about the power game. Who has to capture the uh, two-lead symbol, and who will capture the party which uh, which has a 40% vote, vote share in Tamil Nadu is a big question. Because remember, they got 1.76 crore of mm-hmm. votes. And that's a huge number, 40.8 or 8 percent of share that the ADMK has. And the fight now is to capture and anything and everything. The twists and turns are really, really big right now. Especially those claiming the BJP also trying really hard to ensure that. Just, just very quickly, Priyamata, just tell me how many MLAs are needed or are required to topple the current Tamil Nadu government, or even to delay a merger between the EPS OPS camp. If the EPS and OPS merger does not happen, mm. right now the scenario is EPS technically has only 113 MLAs. Okay. He needs at least 10 or 11 more MLAs to 10 MLAs to sustain the government. But if OPS does not merge with them and EPS takes away more than 20 MLAs, then that definitely means fall of this ABNC government. All right, Priyanka. We we'll leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we'll keep coming back to you once uh, you know those revelations are made, as claimed by TDV Dinakaran, who threatens to expose the present Chief Minister of the State of Tamil Nadu, Idupadi K Palani Sami, today later in the evening.